Welcome back everybody. My name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Divinity Original Sin. Where we left off last time, we had just entered the troll cave. And now, it is time to figure out what's going on in this place. So, it's a very small cave. I think we're going to use, I think we have to use actually, secret files that we discovered inside of his little base camp there. They will sing Meridina's praises for a thousand generations. I have learned how to enter the cave of Gungir, the Troll King, and have imbued this very tome with a necessary spell. In the future, I need only bring this book to the ray of light that pierces the magic mushroom ring, and Gungir's treasure will transform from granite to gorgeous gold. So we're not in the right place, but I do think I know where to go. There's a mushroom ring around here somewhere, I believe. Piercing light. That looks like some light. Doesn't really look like a mushroom grove, though. If I were a mystical mushroom grove, where would I be? Does it mean, like, right here? Because there's a piercing of light right there. Uh, blah blah blah, which one is it? Not a perfect murder. Oh my god, I lost the book. There it is. So it is a mushroom ring. Piercing light granite gold mushroom ring. Am I missing something? Well, there's definitely no mushroom ring in here, so it's not that. There's piercing rays of light everywhere. Is that a mushroom ring? No, but there was that one mushroom ring. Where is it? This map is not super helpful in terms of what we're looking for. I think it might be up there, actually. Okay, better idea. Let's go. It might be up top, like right... I can't show you guys. It might be like over there. But it shouldn't be. It should be really close to the cave, I thought. That's what I was told, anyways. Also, my game is lagging. Hang on, I'm gonna figure out what's going- Oh, there's- I am a moron, look at that. There's mushrooms everywhere right here. Okay, let's try this one more time, but better. And with that, it's time to go spelunking for Tenebrium. Alright, fair enough. Let's go spelunking for Assuming Tenebrium. Assuming this Maradino actually knew his way around a spellbook, that is. Well, this looks significantly different than before. There's actually a cave here. And a troll named Funder. How bad of a person could he be with a name like Funder? Huh? Well, that'll be son of a troll. It's one of those big fairies without wings. What are they called again? Hares, herrings, no, humans. That's it. A human. That means he must be looking for Meridino. No other of you fairies has been here since him. Go ahead, go ahead, go right along. I'm certain you'll be treated just like he was. <laughs> What do you mean treated like he was? Nothing, nothing wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. Tell me, troll, or you won't like the treatment I have in mind for you. Well, that didn't work. You threatened a troll, will you, fairy? There, you plucked off your wings, but I'll pluck off your arms and legs. You know what? I'm going to let that one roll. Because you're level 8 troll. I'm going to kill you in, like, two solid hits. Three solid hits. There we go. I don't think... Oh, we got some experience for that. Good enough, then. Moving on. Quick save time. I could have quick saved before that uh, conversation thing, but I don't. Yeah, whatever. It's all good. That is a lot of treasure. All right. There's a troll guard. Actually, there's several troll guards. Careful, friends. The great, beautiful trolls of this cave have cursed it with me weakening magic. There's King Gungir. Okay, I'm gonna go scouting. 
before we go into any sort of weird fight. I just want to see what's around first. I've learned my lesson. Oh, well, so you should not be standing there. Go back. Alright, wander. Actually, come back. How long does it take you to recharge this? I really should update her uh, scoundrel skills. In fact, let's do that right now. My belly growled like angry gunk here. Did Stumble eat last snake? I'm just gonna wait for my thing, because I wanna put haste on before we go running around. That dude's coming pretty close. Hey. Don't come up here. Okay, good. Not that I think we would be in any serious trouble, but I wanna look around first. That is so much gold. I wish I could take all of it. I could buy everything. Although, to be fair, each of those is one gold coin, so, and there's pretty big mounds. Maybe, i say a thousand a mound, maybe? Possibly a little bit more. So even if it's like two thousand a mound, that pile there is only like... Seven, fourteen thousand gold? I think we're carrying close to an epic mount more than that. Oh, that really didn't help a whole lot. Alright, fine, fair enough. I was hoping the taste would be... A little bit longer lasting than two rounds, but... So there's some troll guards. There's a pickaxe and some type of ore. Oh, this must be Tenebrium. Her strength sucks. She's not gonna be able to carry enough of anything to do anything worthwhile. All right, we're, it looks like we're gonna be killing our way through, probably. Let's make our way back. There's only quite a few guards, but if we can pick them off like one at a time, that is the way I plan on doing this. So let's quick save. Hey, wake up. What did I miss? Oh, 49% chance. I only have one troll on me at the moment, so back up. Also, how did your invisibility wear off? Oh, you know, you're still invisible. Okay, good. And... Can I teleport him? Nope. Luckily, there's only the one. We can just fight him one at a time. We'll be set. Really? Fair enough. Missing kind of sucked, but, I mean, it wasn't all that unexpected. I should repair my dagger after this fight. It desperately needs it. I wonder what the trolls would think when one of their guards didn't come back. Maybe they think he just got hungry and wandered off to get some food. I wonder if they put two and two together that they were under attack. Put him over there. I don't want him wandering off anywhere. And then bring a friend in to help punch him in the face. A potion? That's not cool. He would cripple him. Oh, missed. Uh, just shoot him. One more shot and he should be dead. One ogre down. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a jump cut until after all the ogres are dead because they're not particularly hard. As long as I don't pull more than one at a time, I will kill them all off. That way you guys don't have to watch like 20 minutes of fighting one-on-one -on -one, basically. See you guys in a couple minutes.
And welcome back. So I think the uh, king and maybe one guy over here is, are the only ones left. So we're going to fight the king right now. Hopefully. I don't think he should be too tough an opponent. Then we'll go through grab all the treasure because there's quite a bit. There's chests everywhere and uh, there's a couple chests back here. And I'm sure the king is going to drop some sweet loot too. With any luck anyways. Apparently I don't get to do my fireball first, but that's okay. I want you to... Yeah, just wait. Let's get ourselves a ice elemental. It's only King Gungir versus us so far anyways. Well, that was interesting. A few of our guys got knocked down. I mean, things could have gone worse. There could be more trolls on the way. Just wait. Let's get him. Let's actually we teleport him. Too far away. So if I move closer. Now can I teleport him? I can. Good. I'm gonna put him right here. I want him close, so my melee don't have to move too far away. Ow. That actually kind of hurt. Fortify is kind of an annoying ability. Just go punch him. Miss. There you go, that's better. Don't miss. Let's shoot this dude. Moderately good damage. Less good damage because he's got that stupid fortify on. Um, she needs to go invisible so she doesn't invoke an AOO. And she's gonna possibly get poisoned. Wait, he turned? He turns on backstabs even when they don't miss? That's not fair. Let's heal her up and we'll move our mage backwards out of the poison. That's the end of his turn. That really really hurt. That also really really hurt. Let's do some serious damage now. Well it's not too serious damage because that actually didn't do too much. Although he is less than half health. But he almost killed one of our characters in a single round so... I'm not putting too much stock on that just yet. He's gonna turn to see her every time. Alright, let's use our dagger spinny morally ability. And there's the other troll down there, I can see him. Not a lot I can do about him at the moment though. I'm going to use my bigger heal on my dear Alyra. Try and make sure she doesn't die this turn, although. That might be harder than anticipated. Oh god, that hurts. Please not three health. Oh, she's dead. She just flat out died, so... Um, when it is our archer's turn, we're gonna try and bring her back to life. She doesn't have action, she doesn't have enough action points, so I'm gonna wait. And I'm also going to wait with him, I think. We'll fortify my main character because I don't really care if the Ice Elemental dies too much. 300 damage. And he knocked down my main character. Alright, we get uh, Rez now. Put her back over there somewhere, safe and out of the way for the moment. And shoot him. Our best chance is to kill him right now. I guess it's worth it. And he's dead. So we got some loot from killing him. A bunch of light gold cups everywhere. Some treasure chests. We're gonna grab all of the loot. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do a huge identify Selly thing in between videos here. 
I really need to clean up my inventory so badly. It's actually really bugging me now. That I have so much stuff. I'm gonna go through all my books, throw out all of the crap recipes that I already know. What? Yes, he loves the gold so much that he wants to marry it. That's exactly it. Ah, uh, he's on his other spells. God damn it, I'm an idiot today. <laughs> oh, that was an expensive fight now. Bring her back to life yet again. That's okay. Now let's actually heal her instead of killing her with an ice blast. And we'll pick up all the gold stuff. Oh, gold plate. Give me the gold plate. I don't think that was a gold plate, actually. I'm pretty sure that was just a normal plate. Did I just pick up the chest? I'm pretty sure I just grabbed the whole chest. I don't particularly want the whole chest. Could I just have what's in it? That's better. Alright, anything else in this pile of gold room? Not really. There's another troll here we have to kill. Because we want to get to that Tenebrium and mine it out. That's probably worth more than- oh, there's another troll there. That's probably worth more than the rest of all of the gold in this place. So we killed the Troll King. There's one more troll in our way. So let's go take care of some business. Damn it. Stupid rocks. Damn it, stupid rocks again. You're gonna miss, aren't you? I just shot it. Nothing. You know what? Actually, we don't need to fight him. Why do I care? Let's go get the uh, Tenebrium right now. We're gonna go mine all of it. It can be used to make Tenebrium bars, which can be used to, to give weapons Tenebrium properties. Which is awesome. And I do want that. This is going to be the very exciting mining operation going on. I know. You don't have to tell me how exciting this is watching me mine Tenebrium. It's spectacular. It is beyond reproach. Oh, that one's depleted. Next one. There's only one more vein. Two more veins after this one. Actually, I'm not going to take all that much Tenebrium to be honest. I'm going to get four more because I'm going to be full up. How much would that have given me? How much Tenebrium? We can always come back for more Tenebrium if we need it. Realistically. We have 10. Uh, that one's depleted. Do we have anyone that can carry any more things? He can carry more things. Why is he not carrying more things? Here, give him all of this garbage. You can sell it all, I don't care. We'll grab a couple more Tenebriums. And then what I think I'm going to do is pause the video. Pause slash halt the video for a little bit. I'm going to go to every store that I can possibly find and sell just all the stuff. I'm going to do a whole bunch of inventory cleaning, including books. I'm going to get rid of everything I can. All I want in my inventory basically is gold crafting materials and that's it. That's all I want. Maybe a backup weapon per character or something. That's that's really all I want on my stuff. So now I can carry four more Tenebriums. And then we're out of here. We're not going to bother fighting the last two oh, trolls. I know that they will give us some experience, but realistically we're level... What level are we now? 15? We're pretty on track for where we need to be in terms of levels, I'm pretty sure, anyways. Oh, no, yeah, no, yeah, I grabbed this one. Last ore. Alright, I will be back in, like, however long it takes to clear out my inventory properly. See you guys in a couple minutes. And welcome back, everybody. Um, we are being talked to by Ultra Bold, I think. Look, one of the alien aspect approaches. Go on, my boy, sit the ancient demand. Er, um, Toll Troll. Well, no, I correct my son, but not quite. Um, uh, troll, troll. You come very close in your approximation of the venerable bid, my boy. But a tiny flaw distorts it still. Uh, t t 
Troll Toll! Capital, my son, most excellent. I'm very proud of you indeed. Now then, dearest wanderer of Lucula's leaf and lanes, you've heard our inviolable command. Pay us trolls the toll that is our prerogative, and the bridge shall be yours to cross. Let's discuss the toll. Now then, my boy, please acquaint our aspirant bridge crusher with the quantity of the toll they must pay. The toll is one million gold coins. Indeed, it is not, Mattias, as you know very well. Greed is a vice, my son. It is a vulture most vile that preys upon virtue. Cast it from your soul and restate the pecuniary levy we desire with all of your heart's honesty. 1350 coins. That's fine. We'll pay that. I suppose you're right. Now, thank you very much indeed. You have been most courteous and forthcoming. Now then, what do we say, my boy, to the kind traveler who has sufficiently disbursed us? Or we say, thank you, so or thank you, traveler. But daddy, this is such a bore. I want to club some more. Amadia, such a bore. I want to club some more. Have you been talking to that ne'er do well of Belgar again? Please do forgive him, Wanderer. I shall have a sound word with his wee rapscallion indeed. In the meantime, do feel free to cross the bridge. All trolls, thanks you have wholeheartedly. I know I killed their king and I didn't really need to pay the toll. But I also went through my inventory, sold most of the things I could. I cleared out every shop I could come to in terms of gold. So my net worth right now is 278,337 gold. I have way, way too much gold for anything. Also, my inventory is much cleaner now. I got rid of all the junk. Look at that. It's beautiful. That's my main character, my main storage character. It's my rogue, my archer, my mage. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Although I should probably resort them because I was still doing selling stuff, but I forgot about it. There we go. So much, much better. We're going to hit this bridge and we're going across. We are now loading the dark forest, apparently. I don't really know what that means, but I'm sure it's very exciting and perhaps dark. Dear me, dear me, dear me, it's happening. The void, the darkness, dear me, dear me, dear me, tide lies in tatters. What is going on? There's this place, this pit that lives to the north. It's a rift of chaos, an epicenter of time and space devouring forest. Void demons are besetting Rivalon, and the storms of chaos are shuddering through our own dear homestead. Demons creep through the rift. They must all be destroyed. I need more information if I'm going to face demons. Not just any demons. Avoid demons. They are impervious to attacks with weapons or magic that any creature of this world can muster. But they have one weakness for their simmering presence has permeated this area through and through for a long time. Tenebrium. That is the answer. The black ore that is dark as the void itself. Arm yourself with this foul material and you should be able to shred their bloodstone that controls your, their portal. And what about the rift? How do I close it? The rift is the portal through which the demons seep. There is blood magic at work here, and he who says blood magic says immaculates. A bloodstone fuels the rift, obliterate it, and the rift shall close. I've scouted a bit ahead and seen three paths, or what passes for paths, lead to the center of the wasteland that lies before you. To the left is an encampment of immaculates. Yes, they're but immaculates, but their weapons look sharp as shark's teeth, so don't barge in there like cats at a dog's wedding. The central path is a big no-no, brimming with demons. I really wouldn't recommend it. Which leaves the right path, which may not be the right path at all, for it is deceptively calm along its trail, positively overflowing with magma. So basically I can offer you three options, all of them as appeasing, appetizing as pig feed, and yet you'll have to swallow your portion whole. If not, the end of time will be swept into the void and rivel on with it. One second, I need to see what we're at for time. Okay, so basically, or sorry, and how can the void beasts that are here harm homestead? They exist beyond the normal continuum of time. They are here and they are sweeping through the winds of chaos at the end of ages, shredding what they find. Unless they are defeated, your home away from home shall sink into the maelstrom of oblivion, piece by piece. Wonderful. Our poor home is beset. Southeast to Hunter's Edge, north to incomparable suffering. Well then. Southeast it is. For now, at least. Oh. Now I've screwed up. I can't... No, my mouse goes off screen now. Whatever, we're almost on the video anyways. I'll fix that in a moment. Ugh. Right then. Using buttons. So this way was the deceptively calm way? There's a troll here named Rumble. He's level 16. I'm gonna say it once more. Troll toll. 600 gold! I don't think we're gonna pay the troll toll twice. You bloody walrus! Three guards and three head of slaves. Do you make cows pay toll too? Your fancy little titles don't mean a thing to the king. Pay per head or find another route. 
chicken bones. You know as well as I, there is no other route. I'm offering fair coin for our passage here. You must see reason. 600 gold, chicken bones. Fine, fine. Here's 400, and that's a bloody theft. You're nearly there, chicken bones. 200 more, and you'll make it over the bridge without a single of your tender parts crushed. I'm just watching oh, this go it. on. I'll not lose twice the gold for the fact that you've only half a brain. I'm only going to say it once more. Troll toll. 600 gold. Can't you count, you bloody walrus? Oh. Three guards and three head of slaves. Oh, I got you. you may count. It just loops now. We're not going to go over that way just yet. I want to go down here and see what's going on. Because Southeast was to Homestead, and that's where I... We're not Homestead. Um, Hunter's place. That is where we are supposed to head, so let's try that first. Although this looks not quite, you know, a happy place. It doesn't look very welcoming. This is kind of peaceful and nice, and though it's kind of getting weirdly dark now. That's because it started raining on us all of a sudden. Why did it start raining? I have no idea. Why, how did a spleen get lodged in here? They don't mess around, those nuts. Interesting. So, actually, we're going to end the video here. We're just about at time, and it's no point starting something new right away. In the next video, we're going to continue exploring this area. It's a pretty big area. I mean, we went to the right. We could have gone across the bridge, but we chose not to. We're going down to this village first, and then we'll finish up the rest of this area. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video, which I'm going to be making right away.